a few days ago, I walked around the streets of Waterford with the Blessed Sacrament with Jesus. Or I suppose I could say Jesus walked around the streets of Waterford. Some people knew what was happening. Some people stopped and blessed themselves. Most people just, well, I don't really know what was going on in their hearts, of course. But many didn't stop. They kept on with their business, whatever it was, while Jesus was passing by. We are now in Advent preparing for the birth of the Savior, and we will hear from the Gospel on Christmas night, and the Word was made flesh and lived among us. He's here. He is with us. We are preparing for his arrival once again. And just like in that first Christmas, many people don't comprehend what's happening. The inbreaking of God into human history. Just like that first Christmas, many will go about their ordinary lives and not understand the depth and the significance of what is happening. So who's going to tell them the greatest story ever told? As St. Paul says, how can they believe unless they hear? And how can they hear unless somebody tells them? And how can somebody tell them unless someone is called and accepts the invitation? So that's your job and mine, to be inspired to take up the baton, to, to tell the story to our friends, to our acquaintances, not through force or nastiness or negativity, but through our friendships and the confidence that we share with our friends and our acquaintances and with our love and our example and our prayers and our words to tell them the story, the great human story of who they are, that they are created by God, redeemed by God, and called to an eternal destiny with God. We invite them to open their hearts and to know that God is with them, that God loves them, and that God wants to bring them closer to him so that whatever street or whatever paths in life they follow, that the Lord is with them on that journey and that the ultimate destiny is eternal life with him. Amen. Amen.